Welcome to Give a Shift, the podcast you want to be listening to when you want to make positive, radical change in your life. I'm Nancy Lee's Gribble, one of your co-hosts. And I'm Alicia Ziegler, your other co-host. And welcome. And today we have a very, oh, oh wait, <laughs> we have a very, very special guest. Blair Johnson with Yay! Blair Johnson Wellness. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'm Fabulous good. to be here. Yes, we're very excited you're here. I see you are in your purple. I am in my purple and my logo yeah. apparel. Yes, that <laughs> is her signature. Yes. <laughs> that, purple. Yay. 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 I'm blue. I, I should have thought about it. <laughs> But I'm super excited to introduce Blair. I'm going to give a little bit on her bio. But Blair and I met a few years ago when I landed here in Texas. And we hit it off right away and have been chatting it up ever since. Um, we've run a few programs. We've, we've done a few 30-day group programs together. And um, and it's been a lot of fun, and I am blessed to call Blair one of my friends here in Texas. Um, and so it's been really great. And she has such a unique spin, I'm going to say, on the wellness industry. And it's for pets and their people. And I, I love that tagline. So <laughs> I know. So I'm going to do the official bio. Blair Johnson is a certified nutritional consultant, transformational wellness coach, herbalist, and certified in holistic care for dogs and cats, and the creator of the Dynamic Dog, Mo dog Mom Method. She is lovingly known as the Dog Mom Health Coach. Blair started her company, Blair Johnson Wellness, to share her passion for healthy living for people and their pets once she started to see the similarities in the health issues of pet owners and their pets. With her background in nutrition, herbal remedies, and alternative health practices for both pets and their peoples, she began to incorporate a variety of ideas that make getting healthy, attainable, and sustainable mentally, physically, and nutritionally. Working with Blair, you receive a personalized plan for you and your pets that are pleasurable, stress-free, and fit into your busy lifestyle. So, yay! How awesome is Blair? I love this. What a oh surprise. It's, yeah, it's such a unique, it's so unique, and I love it, and I get to watch Blair's um, Facebook group grow and grow. It's such a treat. Um, so, anyway, Blair, I'm going to turn it over to you. I did your official bio, but please tell us a little bit about you and how you got here. Ah, well, the, it was a long and winding road, as they say. Um, my story, with, which I always say it started, my health journey started with two cats, a can of Coca-Cola and a canine. And I do say a can of Coca-Cola because I used to say Coke because that's what we used to call it. But everybody was like, oh, my God, you had a, a Coke habit? And I'm like, no, no, Coca-Cola. And my very poor joke is I tried snorting Coke one time and the ice cubes got stuck in my nose. <laughs> and yeah, that's my bad joke. So... <laughs> But it was, it was oh, a journey. Hold it against you, Blair. We won't hold it against you. But I'm pumped. So really, yeah, I started, it was, it's a process as you, I've listened to y'all's podcast, which is great. I'm, I'm a huge fan. Thank you. It is a process. It is a shift. It is, it's not a wake up one day and suddenly everything's healthy because you didn't, you know, get unhealthy all right. at once. Correct. And what kind of happened with me is we, I had two different cats from two very different backgrounds long story short, we had them for several years and they died within five weeks of each other, both of the same thing. Oh, and that wow. was like mind blowing to me. And I'm like, what is happening? And then shortly thereafter, there was this huge pet food recall. And I thought oh. I was feeding my cats really, really great diet. It was like one of the big, big brands. Um, I won't name names, but if you ask me privately, I'll tell you. And one of our sponsors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, uh, well, it's okay. The bus is coming. <laughs> yeah, that devastated me. So it was just like, oh my gosh! And it was um, from the pet food. I believe it was from the pet food. Yeah, I and I believe it. You, once the recall came out, and I started going, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. do two very very different cats 
right. die of the same thing within weeks of each other. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah. So that was very disheartening and broke, you know, just absolutely devastated yeah. me. And the, another thing was with my, when I was working, I was worked in corporate radio actually for many, many years. And I had a staff and one of them was Catholic and she was giving up something for Lent. And they, we all decided to, you know, yeah. join in and say, we'll give up something. And they all dared me to give up my Coca-Cola. I was not a coffee drinker. I went from the baby bottle to the Coca-Cola bottle <laughs> and drank it every day. And I was like, no problem. I can give up that for 40 days. And I was the meanest, mm. witchiest woman. And I realized about a couple of weeks into that, that I'm like, I am addicted yeah. to Coca-Cola. Yeah. Oh my God. I bet so many people listening can relate to that. Yeah. yeah. And so I made it the 40 days, which were the longest 40 days of my life. Very proud of you. <laughs> was like, can't wait to have that can of Coca-Cola once. Yeah. And I went to do it, drink it. And I was like, oh my God, this is terrible. You know, yes. and nothing against Coca-Cola. It's like yeah. at that point, it was just like, nope. And so I had to find something to kind of replace that. So it just kind of started this journey, you know, with real, like, what am I, what am I putting into my body? And I mean, I was living the fast food diet. I was a desk jockey. I was stressed out all the time. So, I mean, my, my health was awful. Um, once we, we moved down to Houston, Texas, and we knew we wanted to get a dog and we got, we found this really pitiful malnourished, uh, two year ish old Australian shepherd. His name was pirate. And I was like, I don't even know what feeds you. Like I don't, I've had cats for, mm -hmm. you know, 15 years. I don't, know how to do that but I'm going to figure it out because I looked in his big old brown eyes and I said I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to because we wanted a frisbee dog yeah and I'm like, how do I take this pitiful <laughs> cute as a button right. thing you know and make him into an athlete dog and that's kind of what started my journey I found the the holistic care for companion animals certification course and went into that mind blown out of all the things that we are doing to our pets and the things we can mm. do for our pets, which then kind of led me into a journey once I did that and he got him healthy, got him to be a very athletic Frisbee dog and was so exhausted. I could not keep up with him because he was very yeah. high, very high energy and I'm chasing him around this field. And I'm like, <gasps> you know, like Wait, mom, and, it. and I'm like, my dog is eating way better than I am. And so it was kind of this, again, another shift. So I totally credit my dog, my previous dog for getting me on a very, very healthy journey. And together we got kind of healthy together. And he ended up competing in uh, the Disc Dog Nationals. And Aww. it was, you know, mind blowing. And so the two of us uh, got healthy together. And that's kind of, I quit my job, went back to school and studied nutrition. And then that's when I became the certified uh, transformational coach. And was just along the way, somehow, somewhere, I kept talking to people more about their animals than I was about their health. And it just kind of eventually, like, I think when I met Nancy, we were both very health coaches and like, we got to figure out a way to differentiate ourselves. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and I was like, ding, I talked to people about their pets too. And then started seeing the correlation between, you know, the same issues with humans and pets, you know, obesity, diabetes, um, heart conditions, um, allergies, joint pain. And it was like you, the, the women and the, and, or the people with the, the pet parents and their pets, very linear in what was going on with each of them. So it, the light bulb moment went off and that's right. Especially if the people are giving their dog table scraps when they're already, the dogs are already eating well-known name companies, junk food, I call it, because yeah. most of, I will put it out there, most of that stuff is junk food, especially where you look where it is made and where it comes from. Yes. So I can only imagine you getting started must have been like, mic drop for every single person that crossed your path. Yes. It was, I went down, I mean, research and research and research. And the good news is over the last several years is the health food or the pet food industry has exploded. There's a lot more great quality products out there. The bad news is, is the health food and pet food industry has exploded. And there's a lot of people trying to make a very quick buck using very cheap stuff, but marketing it the right way so that it looks pretty. Yes. And it, That's guess like what 
right? That's doing that with our food too. Yep. And it's just like, wow, it was like figuring out how to differentiate that is just been, there's so much confusion out there. And I talk to people all the time, it's like, I feed my dog a really healthy diet. And then they feed them, you know, fake bacon strips, you know, and I'm like, yeah. No. yeah. Right, right. And that, all the time. I don't know why. And they have such short lives anyway, yeah. right? Like we want them around as long as possible, as energetic as possible and feeling good and their little joints all working well. Um, I love your story. I love <laughs> that um, you met pirate and were determined to make him a little athletic dog. And then you went, well, well, I've done that. What about me now? So I guess I didn't realize that the, um, for you, it started with getting your certification for the animals. Yes. And then you segued, like, let me keep learning and then merging these, these two together. I think that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And when you, um, and now, um, pirate is no longer with you. Correct. Mm -hmm. That is and correct. we have a new mascot, <laughs> face of the company. Name. His name is Wrigley. Oh, cute. And yeah. um, we got him um, after the Cubs finally won the World Series. And having lived in Chicago for a while, we were Cubs fans. And so Wrigley, Wrigley, he's got a wiggle bud. It was Wrigley. So it just kind of, it kind of, we adopted him on opening day. The following year, it just kind of all came together. And so I love this story. <laughs> Wrigley is not athletic. He's got a totally different set of skills. Um, he's but very he, good in the Jeep. He's oh, he's great. He's never found a place he can't nap. Yeah. <laughs> but Wrigley came to us too. Again, we rescued him. Mm -hmm. His if you're familiar with Australian Shepherds, they have big, beautiful, thick coats curly coats you know yeah. and or wavy coats and he came to us and his coat was so thin you could see his skin and you know this time it was like i got this i know how to do this i'm like we are on it and within just a few like within a month i was gonna say so i wonder like for you know because humans are like i want to transform overnight so i'm like and how quickly for Wrigley, I was going to say, did it yeah. come to be where you, all of a sudden you were like, wow, this is such a simple implementation and yet such a quick result. Like just the consistency of doing it already changed like behavior patterns or, you know, appearance or behavior yeah. or so it's yeah. fast. My husband was like petting him. He's like, oh my God, all this fur is just coming off. I mean, we didn't have this problem with, with pirate. I said, not at the, not eventually we didn't, you know, we yeah. forget that pirate lived a nice, long, healthy life. Right. And we're getting rid of all of the, the stuff we had to like clean it out. Y'all, obviously you speak about this all the time. You have to start from the inside and then it kind of has to yes, work go out through the out. outside, which yeah. a lot of people, when they're changing their lifestyle is like, suddenly they feel crappy, their skin looks crappy. And it's like, I'm like, I tell this with people with a dog, it's going to get worse yes. before it gets better. 100% every time it's going to get worse before it gets better. You're not going to think it's working. I'm like, just keep going. At about the two week mark, it's going to be really bad. And, you know, depending on the dog, sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's four weeks. But I said, but then after that, you're going to start seeing it. And then now he's got a nice big fluffy coat and can't see his skin anymore. And uh, he's a That's big old big fantastic. <laughs> I, I love that. And uh, you're so right, right? With anything, it works, it's from the inside, works it works its way out. And it does like, it's like the icky stuff is all coming out and that's what you're going to see. And it's like, oh my God, it's not working. But um, I love, I, I just love um, the part where, you know, it's like, I gotta get my dog healthy. I got to do this. Like, you're not even on the radar about yourself yet, right? You're not even like when you met Pirate. And I think that's for a lot of people who have um, kids or something. And sometimes you hear like, oh, you know, you have to do it for you. And of course, it, the long game, you have to do it for you. But I know my journey started because I was like, oh my God, I'm an older single mom and I've got to get healthy for my son. I wasn't like thinking about me. I could have like almost cared less, but I was like, he deserves that. And so, and then it segues into one day, you're like, same thing, like, hmm. Wait a minute. First of all, I kind of like this getting healthy thing and I'm feeling a little better. And so 
What do you like when you get your, when you have clients or what would you say to people who are listening, who have pets, like what advice or tips can you give them that maybe they want to be looking for or how they, I, I guess really your top tips, some top tips that you might yeah. want to share. <laughs> well, I work with, the, I work with each when I work with somebody, I work with them individually and I go through a whole questionnaire about what's going on with what their diet is, what their lifestyle is like, what the human, the, the pet parents lifestyle yeah. is like, what are they doing? Because again, it's very, very, there's a lot of symmetry there. Um, when so many people will say, I'm feeding a really great, my, I'm feeding my dog a really great diet. And yeah. I'm like, well, what is that diet? You know, and then yeah. once we go into it and they're like, but they're, it's itching he's, he, or he's got ear gunk or, or he's sneezing all the time or, he, you know, whatever it is. And I'm like, okay, well, let's go through. And what I find the most common thing is the artificial flavors, the artificial preservatives, the artificial colors. Hint folks, your dogs don't care what color their food is <laughs> at all. <laughs> It doesn't need to be green or red or, you know, that's stuff. it's, it's just, not, it's just <laughs> like, they don't, they don't care. We don't have to do a presentation. Presentation is not important. Is that what you're it saying? Is <laughs> like, what is Motley and Pixie having? Oh wait, that's right. I'm the reverse Blair. Blair will be proud of me. I was the reverse athlete that was like, well, if I eat like this, my dogs have to eat like me. And I have cooked and my mom has cooked for all of like the two of us have cooked for all of our pets for like 20 years. That's my great. Dog is 17 and a half. Wow. And my cat lived to be almost 30. So I can tell you right now, it makes what Blair is doing makes a difference. It does. In, intake is everything. It is medicine. So yeah. I'm fascinated to hear like on the questionnaire, what grabs people the most like something maybe unsuspecting that they wouldn't think right they think like oh dogs just have stinky breath or maybe they're just shedding or like what is like the kind of the numbers that pop out to you like the number one two or three things that the issues that i see yeah like we're like the humans will mention it about their pet and you'll be looking at them going and you too and you too um allergies <laughs> Alex. Yes, big one. And that's the, you can tell like they lick their paws all the time, right? Yeah. Allergies. yeah. allergies can be in the form of the runny nose, the runny eyes, the scratching, the licking of the paws, you know, any of that. Um, the shedding. Yeah. For both people, like we all know we shed, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, but if you, if you pet your dog, you make it a hair or two. If you're petting your dog and you come up and your hand is covered, that that's an issue. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, excessive weight. Yes. Like yeah. little foo-foo needs to go for a walk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I hate to say it, if if the pet parent has extra weight on it, 95% of the time, so does the dog. Right. They're lounging around, they're watching some TV, they're snuggling. I'm not speaking for myself at all. I have a little popcorn. <laughs> Someone might have a little popcorn. I'm just, I'm a saying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I'm going to add in too, I think um, depression in pets is, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I don't know cats very well. So I'm speaking for dogs, but as hot as it's been here in Texas and it has been brutal, Bentley's walks have gone downhill. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, I cannot take him out in the middle of the day. Like I used to, even at 10 AM, I can't do it. And we had a pretty good routine and he went out two to three times a day. We're mm -hmm. looking at now maybe once, maybe twice, but they're much shorter. He's depressed. He is straight <laughs> up a depressed dog. And the minute we get outside and I always think Blair did the best post. And it was when you take your dog out, please let them sniff. Right. Can you can you reiterate that post or I yeah. remember it, but if you. Yeah. So most of what's going on with a dog goes through its nose and that's how they learn. That's how they they're experiencing the world around them. That is their social media. That is yeah. their they 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 sniff other other dogs. They sniff plants. They there's so many things I, I read one time where if you were making a stew, you smell the stew but the dogs smell 
the individual ingredients mm. in the stew. So that just kind of gives you an, an wow. idea. They have anywhere from 10,000 to 100,000 extra receptors in their nose, depending on the breed of the dog. And so that's just their information highway. And that's where they need to do it. And so they need to get out there. And we, we're sitting there like, come on, come on, come yes. on. Like they need to sniff because that's that's just the, where they do. And, you know, the other joke is, is like, I thought I was picky until I watched my dog try to find a place to go to the bathroom, you know. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you got to get that blade of grass just I, right. Like it's got to be but that's, Yeah, that's their information. And so that helps stimulate their brain. And that's, we all need that. And so, you know, they're probably in your house. Like Bentley, you were saying, Bentley is like, well, I, oh, he's dying. I, I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm, you know, there's some boredom there. So yeah. it's not a gut microbiome builder. That's, I thought she was going to say like for us, like that book, Eat Dirt, where I'm like, stop over sanitizing and washing your hands all the time. Oh. Out. Yeah. Like, oh, I can, I can eat like, your dog. You can eat things off the floor. You oh, should yeah. get your hands dirty. Like, <laughs> yeah. But if it's social, no wonder my dog's all cranky. Just doing Well, it, you hit on a really great point, Alicia, because it is, I mean, everything, uh, that I didn't mention that earlier, like gut health, 100%. That's again, from the inside out. That's what yeah. I work with. Because most of these issues that are that are we're seeing both pets and their peoples is gut health, it comes down to, you know, how healthy we are down there. And then, you know, the dogs when they are out there, and they are rooting around and stuff like that, and then they do come back and lick their paws. Part of that is cleaning. There's, there's part of it when it's like cleaning, and then there's other where it's obsessive, and it's yeah allergies. Yeah. And there's that's when we got to figure out the difference. But yeah, getting all of that stuff in there, getting them out walking, that helps get all of that stuff into their system as well. So yeah. do you have a general, like a couple of things that you suggest as like Nancy and I, you know, um, take the same, same sub, um, supplements. And so we always joke, like, this is our first aid kit. Like if I travel, I'm taking my aminos, my, a power shake. And you know, like the top three things, if I can't have anything else, I'm taking these. Do you have that, um, same suggestion for dogs for, for their. Yes. Specific I'm things sure. that you recommend or what you're like, take, have, have your dog take a probiotic or brush yes. his teeth or what's so, I want to hear Blair's like, please. I'm like, like I got it, girl. I got it. <laughs> the two main things that I would make sure that your dog is getting are probiotics. Um, yeah. I work, I partner with a company that has a pet food that has the probiotics guaranteed in them and probiotics, as we know, some, you, you could go out and eat all the yogurt you want to, but there's like this much probiotic. You have to get the right probiotics that is species specific okay. for the dogs and the cats and the okay. humans. We're all different. We need different strains, making sure that they have that because that's going to improve. If y'all are both pet parents, you want the rock star poop when you go to pick it up, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh my people that have rock star poo. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. And that tells a lot about what's going on. And I ask, I will ask the, the, the people, you know, what's going on with your dog's poop? Is it runny? Is it milky? Is it this, that, and the other? So having a good food with probiotics and I'm not, I love the fact that you do what you do, Alicia, but most people are not going to do that. And then most people, if they think that, you know, that they want to feed their dog a homemade diet, they're doing it wrong. So oh, yeah, no, don't be me. I'm just saying, I cook for my dog because yeah, but I, I, I was like you when I read the bag and then I was like, I don't yeah. this is like humans. I don't even know what's in this. <laughs> there's some amazing, amazing kibble out there, believe it or not. Yeah. Um, there's some great canned food. There's some great raw diets. There's some great freeze dried or canned diets. There's also awful ones of all of those same things too. Yeah. And I had somebody tell me, it's like, well, I'm feeding my, my dog chicken and rice. And I'm like, is that all you're feeding your dog? She go, well, yeah, that's what the bag said. You know, so when I went to make his own diet, I just fed him chicken and rice. I'm like, and now he's vitamin missing very, <laughs> a lot of nutrients. A yeah. lot of nutrients. <laughs> Do you so I, feed, I feed Rick Wrigley a kibble diet. I, again, it's this company I partner with. I love them oh, because yeah. of what they've done. He also gets um carrots he gets green beans he gets melon he loves melon like watermelon and honeydew melon he loves bananas he loves he doesn't like strawberries 
Yeah. He'll, only, he'll eat a blueberry if I smush it up first. He won't eat it. Yeah. Otherwise, he's like, same with Bentley. Yeah. Pixie and will, it out. My <laughs> Pixie will not eat fruit at all. And Motley will clean everybody's house, no matter what you put on the floor. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. you know, I supplement his diet with fresh food because I believe in it 100%. Cool. So when you say table scraps, it's kind of like there's a, there's a misnomer about well, if you're feeding your dog, you know, the fat off of a piece of steak, which I know you both don't eat, you know, steak, but if people are feeding the fat off the steak, no. Or no. the potato chips or the French fries. Or the or, or yeah. That yeah. stuff. Yeah. The pizza. Or, the, perhaps, or here's your baby carrot. Yeah. That's <laughs> you know, like carrots and apples at our house. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's kind of like, you know, don't feed them the crap stuff. Right. Feed them, you know, but sure. definitely supplement because of the enzymes and the stuff. Like they need some of the fresh food, right. but yeah. there's absolutely nothing wrong if you find the right, you know, diet kibble can raw. And that's kind of where I help you figure it out because most people will come to me and say, it's a really good diet. And I'm like, here's the ingredient list. And here I am, you know, circling all of the stuff yeah. that, you I know, that is you not that. a healthy diet. And now a lot of that stuff is on your social, the compare and contrast and the visuals and all of that. Yeah, some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, That's and awesome. she has, I mean, I'm just going to say it right now. We'll say it again at the end. Blair has a fantastic Facebook group and she does. I mean, it really is. She's always giving some kind of education okay. about the care of your pets. And I mean, there's some fun stuff in there too that she does, but you, uh, you get good tips. I read it because I always get like a good tip. I, I mean, for real, the one with the sniffing, I always used to be like, Bentley, let's go. Because Bentley's <laughs> fast. Bentley Bentley is a fast dog. So we'll go, go, go. And then so when he would want to sniff, I'm like, no, come on. The minute I read her post, I was like, oh, my God, I'm such a horrible mom. I'm like, sniff. Now I'm like, sniff away. I do my own walk. I do my thing and my run and my walk. And then I do Bentley. And I'm like, this is your time. And love yeah. now your time. And we will stand here and we will sniff. And we listen. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and here's here's a good tip. While they're sniffing, that's a great time for you to breathe, do okay. some breathing, and breathe in some good air. So long as you're not in a like heavily polluted area. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta move. Oh, God. I love it. So when you, I love that you. So if somebody so is going to come on and they're going to be your client. Like you can literally say, "Let's see what you're feeding your pet," yes. and you can help them understand and just like we all read labels and we know like if honestly if you can't pronounce it you probably shouldn't be eating it like you can help them see that on the label like what they're really giving their 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 animal their dog or cat or whatever animal they yes. have and then how they can transition and what what they can do yeah the, fil the filtered water as well versus the like just the tap out of your Depending on where you live, depending on I was on King in like nine point five, and I was like, "This is actually what I think might be like saving the animals." I'm not sure, but yeah. I mean, does I know that that can play a role too, and so many um, other people like our human clients, yeah. but as far as like pets too, because I think people think animals are like so much more resilient because it's an animal. They live like, in the wild. Yeah, yeah. but so like what you're saying, it's so fascinating that you can really up their game and their quality of life with what sounds like and seems like some simple changes. Yes, very, very simple changes. And it's funny that you said that, Nancy, the, the, in the wild, if you see, if you see a- I love to get excited. Because it seems like, this is what I'm really thinking and this is how I'm gonna say it. <laughs> I'm gonna exactly. take that away from Blair. You can't, if, for those of you that aren't watching and only listening, she's got a nice little prayer clap that might be at a golf course and it's like a, a, a happy pause <laughs> <laughs> with a little bit of a like a little bit of like how am I going to deliver this <laughs> if you see a bag of kibble with a wolf on it yeah mm -hmm. your dog is not a wolf not a right. wolf mm -hmm. your dog is not a wolf your cat <laughs> is not a lion. I'm no. sorry to break the news to you. <laughs> sorry, the, wolf, here. <laughs> the wolf's diet is totally different from a dog's diet. Right. You're the, you know, 
they sure they started off descending from the same place, but I'll give you an example. We have 98% of our DNA in uh, that's the same as a bonobo chimp. Oh, mm -hmm. we are not bonobo chimps. We're not. Our diets are totally different from bonobo chimps. So that's the same thing when you see a wolf and a dog, like they're totally different. And it's like all this marketing with these like wolves coming yeah. up. I'm like, I just smack my head. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So, and put it in another perspective, we're 80%, we share 80% of the same DNA with a banana. So <laughs> you got that as well. You guys may have a little bit more because you eat more bananas than I do. But um, so be careful of the marketing because it's like, you'll see the, the, even the cats with the, with the lions, you know, I'm like, no, no, don't fall for marketing. Read the ingredient and this goes for human food too like right and I'm, I'm and i'm gonna say something very unpopular and it I is love that word. Not a keto diet in any by any stretch of the imagination i have always just felt the same way like we are designed to eat fiber so a lot of people that tend to go keto are eating a little less fiber we'll just say and yes. a little oh my God. and i always say but you're not an eskimo your lifestyle and your consumption of food must match your exercise level, your output, your energy, your sleep, and all of that. So if you're bogging yourself down with all of this protein and fat and then trying to function not as an Eskimo in that environment, <laughs> right? then it, you're doing the same thing essentially as you're saying with the <clears throat> wolf on the bag. I know exactly. Um, your dog is that's not his lifestyle no. he will eat again in about eight to 12 hours <laughs> like yeah. yeah and then you know you we got i had to go through i had to be very very careful because i mean i'm talking about things from teacup chihuahuas up to mastiffs and you know great yeah. danes yeah and the difference in their diet and their lifestyle you know and you have the 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 cute you know snuggly dogs and you've got the super hurting, you know, or working dogs, and they will require different diets because yeah. their lifestyles are so different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So true. So true. I love that you brought that up about the marketing with the wolf and the thing, cause it's so true. It's a, it's a big one. And it's like, no, again, those French fries and potato chips, your dog's not in the wild. Like yeah. you can't, you can't be yeah. feeding them that. And, um, Right. And I can see you probably do get a lot of clients where you can see the similarities between the parent and the pet and, mm -hmm. and their weight and their maybe activity level and their health. Mm -hmm. And it all goes hand in hand for sure. Um, I think this is so fascinating. I did want to ask, I was thinking about this. Do you help people um, or work with people that have pets other than dogs or cats? Not really. Okay. I no offense to to lizards and snakes and <laughs> parrots and others, which I love all of them, but like they the keeps, is, yeah, they they require so they're so much more refined. And it was yeah. kind of like when I was trying to like narrow down, you know, and and you introduced me like I, I'm the dog mom health coach because I kind of wanted to do this niche because it, I'm yeah. a dog mom and and wanted you know love the idea of getting healthy together with your dog yeah right? but that doesn't mean i can't help cats and that doesn't mean that you know if you have a problem with your parrot or your horse there's probably some things going on but that's just not my forte yeah just wanted to make sure yeah and love it like you're like in your lane and you know exactly that and you did it i think i think that's kind of really key too it's just kind of, it's the same as instead of just saying, well, this is the product I recommend because I recommend it. And this is what I do. It's like, no, I literally took my rescue dog from, I hate to call a little pirate pitiful, but, <laughs> but no, it was, it was pitiful. pitiful pirate to, you know, powerhouse pirate and mm -hmm. made him an athlete and you did it and you did it by learning everything and implementing it and researching and then finding that you had such a passion for this um, and then went on into your career is it's beautiful. It's such a, I love your niche. I think it's needed. I do. I really think it's needed and people love their pets. Oh, yeah. And it's this, I think there's a same kind of premise as, you know, we always talk about health as wealth. We're all in that and it's not an expense. It's an investment. We all know the minute you go to the vet, 
because of an emergency or something, that sticker shock will take you right out of the, can take you out of the game. And you're stuck making that horrible decision for some people because you can't afford it to, yeah. to get the, the treatment, right? So this is not getting your pet, your dog healthy or cat is not an expense. It's yeah. an investment in their health. It's a save, almost a savings account. Well, I right? also feel like it's your responsibility. I mean, yes. yes, you're responsible to the fact that you decided to take this creature on, you know, what you feed it matters. I mean, health matters to yourself, obviously, you know, right? We always talk about like the domino effect and you were saying if you don't take care of yourself, but if you don't take care of your pet, then ultimately it's like your loss. Like if the pet suffers, then you'll suffer. So why not take it to the full extent and do what you can to have your baby live its best life so that, you know, you're not, you're not depressed like Bentley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would rather you know, people are like, oh, it's so expensive. I'd rather pay a little more now than a large chunk later yeah. when it's too late. And I have, I, it is so heartbreaking when people come to me when it's too late. Mm. And, I, and then I'm like, then I'm like all stressed because I like, I can't, I can't help a dog that's, you know, kind of in the stage four cancer. I, right. you know, I can give you some options, but it's like, that's too late. I don't, I want, I want people to talk to me here you know, when they're get a, a new dog and don't know what to do before it goes down, you know, and, and as we know, you know, health is such a weird thing because we're all so different. Yeah. And we, there's no guarantees, but there's definitely, it's like, I will spend money on my dog, you know, and as, as much as I love my vet, I don't really want to see my vet, you know, right. and there are things to see the vet for, and I take him in for regular checkups and my dog, unfortunately, because he's a rescue, he's got, he's got bad teeth. His teeth never developed. I don't know why. So I have to go in and make sure that he's okay. Cause they, they just, I can't get them as clean as I want them be, yeah. just because they're just bad teeth. Um, so there's things, there's definitely things go see your vet. I'm not saying don't go to your vet. I'm not saying go, you know, same thing. I don't, I like my doctor. I don't want to go see my doctor. Right. <laughs> I don't, right. I don't, yeah. Uh, same. I mean, there's good, good <laughs> reasons, but it's like, I'd rather you're going to pay one way or the other. And it's just, I would rather hundred percent upfront, make sure that he's getting the healthiest diet he can. And yeah. So and live longer. Cause my whole goal is to help you and your dogs or you and your pets live together longer naturally. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. And I'm wanted to add in, cause I know we had talked about it a little bit and um, before we wrap up and tell everyone where they can find you, you had mentioned something also that you do or your company partners with, with, I, and I might be saying this wrong, charities or nonprofits. Mm -hmm. I would think people would love to hear that too. Uh, yes. Um, the company I work with has, has pet products and they've been in business for over, tw I think, 25 years. And they started off with a, a holistic formulator, a veterinarian, and she was very, very particular. Her name was Dr. Jane Bix. And along the way, they, they set up the Dr. Jane Bix Foundation which is for every every time that somebody purchases a pet product, a you know, portion of that will go into helping support animal rescue. Love it. Awesome. And this company is so great that they have also launched, um, they have some nutritional supplements for people as well. And then they launched an orga organic ingredient skincare. And for every purchase that you make of a skincare product, we plant a tree. So it is... Beautiful. It is a wonderful company that, you know, definitely gives back. And it spoke to my heart because I was like, I, I wanted products that I could could recommend because I was telling people, it's like, well, just go to, you know, so-and-so grocery store and then get, yeah. you know, a, a probiotic or a what or Yeah, a, we know that drill. Kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, we know that drill. We, yeah. we know that drill and we did the same thing. We quit that real, set, real quick. Yeah. So now that I have these products, I use them. I love them. I would never recommend, I am one that will never recommend something that I haven't, you know, used. And if I haven't used it, but I've recommended it to somebody else before, like I don't use the cat products because I don't have a cat right now. I'm, I would love yeah. a cat, but I don't, my dog would, I wouldn't have any furniture because they would chase each other all over everywhere. Anyway. Um, but he, so he'd be fine for his nap spot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they would like fight, fight for naps. Um, but I know the products well enough to know that 
you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. And if my products aren't right for you, like I'm not out here just like shove my stuff down your, your throat. Like I will find something that's, that is not my company's to recommend as well. I mean, I recommend herbal remedies that my company just doesn't have. So I, right. I find the stuff that works for people, you know, or the essential oils or something like that, that will, that can work. Yeah. So cool. I love it. Cause that's part of the coaching process with the pets and the people is basically finding out where they're at. Right. And then helping them take the steps, whether it's movement and mm -hmm. social and the food they eat. Mm -hmm. So it all goes hand in hand. And, yeah. um, and you, you touched on it too, as, as we said in the very beginning, it's like, it's not just what you're eating. It's, it's how you're moving. It's your mental and the dogs go through that as well. The dogs need to be stimulated as well, mentally, physically, and nutritionally. Yeah. People need to be stimulated mentally, physically, and nutritionally as well. So why not do it together? So let's do it. How let's do, we do it. it. <laughs> that note, I'm like, yeah, okay, let's do it. I got my phone. Looking up Blair. Where are you? Let me find well, yeah. So Blair, while she's looking around, tell everyone where they can find you, um, your website, your Facebook group, and what, what you have coming up. Um, because I think, I just think it's just a fabulous, fabulous um, gift and service that you have for people. So thank you. Um, Blair Johnson Wellness. That's kind of where I am all over social media. Um, the I have a great guide then kind of discover how I'm got healthy together with my with my dog, which is uh, Blair Johnson Wellness dot net slash guide dash one. Okay. We can maybe hopefully link that. Yeah. Um, and is it on your website, too? It is not because I need to update my website with it. Yeah. Um, okay. But my actual website is BlairJohnsonWellness.com, but this is .net because long story, it's a yeah. tech thing. We have a .net. We get it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I just stalked you and we are now friends on all the things. <laughs> and then my Facebook group. Follow, this is the only time I'm ever going to be like, follow me. I'm a leader. <laughs> and then my, my group that you mentioned, my Facebook group, I have a Blair Johnson Wellness Facebook group, but my Naturally Healthy Dog Moms and Dogs if you are a dog mom, that's the one where you, I put all my tips and great tips, and recipes that was and stuff. Now private or public? That is a private group. So you have to, you know, and it's, I would love to, no offense to dog dads, sorry, but this is because I talk a lot about a lot of women's stuff in there as well. Yeah. And can you repeat the name? Naturally Healthy Dog Moms and Dogs. Love it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So make sure Blair, if you don't mind sending me the, the link info yeah. and I'll make sure that I put them um, in our show notes. Yeah. And yeah. my guys have got three recipes in it that you and your dog, you can make and you and your dog can eat them together. Okay. I want to see you doing that on video. <laughs> I challenge, I want to see, I want to see, like, I think, because I think still some people like, even though they're like, yeah, I feed my dog. It's all real food. They have this little thing like, Wait a minute. They can't eat watermelon. My dog's yeah. eating what I eat, but am I eating what my dog eats? Like, you know what? It's like the same thing. Right. But yeah, I think it'd be a really fun video. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Blair's like, thanks, Nance. Thanks a lot. Now I got to figure out how to edit a video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was not put on this earth to do the tech part. So, I, you yes. know, I can coach you all day long on your pets and, and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But when it comes down to doing websites and tech stuff, like that is... No, no, that's you, a whole different game. But I just think, have a be, referral. I think it's a great thing. Like people can actually see, you know, you like the making of dog food. I don't know. And then like you and your dog are sharing a meal. I do. This is total tangent. I do love the commercial now where the dogs are at the table. Have you seen it with the golden retrievers? And they're all yeah. talking about their day and the dogs like, you know, I, I sniffed over here and the kid's like, I got an A plus in my whatever and class and, and the parents are all like on the dog and the kids are like, what the, what's up? Like, <laughs> this is what happens when they come to the, t and the dog's like, what's wrong with them? I love them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you saw my social media feed, you would see how much I love dogs and all animals. It seems to be a problem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I have cultivated my feed and pretty much that's, that's what I see is, is yeah. dog stuff and cat stuff and 
Yeah. It's funny. It's like, if you want to get to know somebody, grab their phone and look at the reels that come up and you're going to see what they gravitate to. And mine is very apparent. Like it's yeah. all whales, sharks, dogs, <laughs> Africa. <laughs> mine, mine is similar, but because I've, I'm trying to learn how to play golf, like now I've got the golf videos yeah. coming up. Right. Yes. Yes. All right, Blair, this was amazing. Your information everybody needs to hear. So Thanks. I'm so excited um, that you got to meet Alicia today. Yeah. Yes. yes. And that you came on today. We really appreciate it. And we will make sure that everyone who's listening um, and those we send this out to get your information. Thank you. And for everyone listening, please remember to like, comment, and share. Um, we appreciate you being here. And remember, it's time to give a shift. Yes. <laughs> and, and subscribe on your YouTube channel because yes, where you are. Thank you all so yes, much for having you. me. I loved it. And I'm loving your podcast. And I think y'all's message is amazing. So keep up the great work. Yours is fantastic. And I have now properly stalked you. So let's <laughs> ensue. Woo! <laughs>